Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your image up a little bit um, using the spot healing brush. So again, over here on the left-hand side where all your tools are, yours may look a little bit different than mine, but um, go ahead and, and, and um, scroll your cursor over some of these tools. Uh, to see the names of them and you know you can play around with them a little bit but the one that we're going to focus on right now is the spot healing brush uh, it removes marks and blemishes so I'm going to go ahead and click on that um, and some important things to know about your spot healing brush if you use your brackets which are um, like a, a half square on the top right hand side of your of your keyboard right underneath the delete button so if you have the right hand bracket if you hit that right hand bracket notice it will make your spot healing brush really big and if you hit that left hand bracket it'll make your spot healing brush go down even smaller um, so thankfully this photo is pretty clean but if you had some image or some spots in your image that you wanted to clean up you would just simply find those little spots click on them and look at that it disappears um, so you just want to clean up your images a little bit if there's if there's anything that you think uh, shouldn't be there. Uh, just getting rid of these little spots will make your image so much cleaner. Um, one thing that I want to tell you about in this video as well is let's say you um, click on something that you didn't want to do, like I did a spot heel there and I didn't like the outcome. Uh-oh, oops, I messed up. What do I do? Um, so to undo a step, just one step back in your edits, you're going to hit Command Z or Apple Z, depending on which computer. So when I hit Command Z, it automatically brings me back one step. But let's say you did three steps that you messed up on, right? Or one, more than one. So I have one, two, uh, three, and I want to go back three steps. Now, if I hit Command Z, it's only going to take me back once. So if you go to your history panel, which I have mine um, over here on the right-hand side, uh, your history panel, if you if you don't have yours open, you can go to Window and find your, your history right there. Um, but if you go to your history panel and open it up, it will have the last 20 steps that I've taken. It will have them all right there. So I know that I messed up a while ago, so I'm going to go back one step. See, it undoes what I just did. I'm going to go back another step. It undid that one. And then I'm going to go back another step. Uh, and OK, now we're good. Now we're back to where I wanted to be. So I wanted you to be aware of that so that as you're editing, if you ever mess up, you you know that you can undo it. That's the that's the beauty of, of this type of editing on Photoshop. It's non-destructive editing. You can undo whatever you have done. Um, so I wanted you to be aware of those two things. Remember, go, to go back one step is Command Z. And if you need to go back a few steps, you can always go up to your history and, and go back to wherever you need to go.